how to check your web page speed on PageSpeed Insights. So what exactly is PageSpeed Insights? PageSpeed Insights analyzes the content of a web page, then generates suggestions to make that page faster. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash developers dot google dot com slash speed slash page speed slash insights once you've typed that in hit search and you'll be taken to the page speed insights homepage in the center of the homepage you'll notice that there is a search box here which says enter a web page url you're going to grab the url of the web page that you want to analyze in page speed insights now i have the web page that i want to analyze for this video demonstration in another tab here so i'm just going to left click on the tab as you can see this is the home page for my personal website it's a very simple web page with my profile picture my channel name and full social media links. And when you hover over the buttons, they change from white to red. So to analyze this web page, I'm just going to copy the URL here and then go back to Page Speed Insights. Once I'm here, I'm just going to Control V into the text box here, and then all I'm going to do is hit Analyze and PageSpeed Insights will analyze the web page you entered. Once the analysis is complete, you'll immediately be greeted with a score for your web page. As you can see, I've got a green score here of 98 for websplaining.com. If your score is red, then your score is between zero and 49. If you got an orange score, then your score is between 50 and 89. And if you got a green score, then your score is between 90 and 100. And if you left click on the little eye symbol here for information, you'll be taken to another web page called Lightspeed Performance Scoring, and you'll be able to see exactly what these scores mean. So going back to PageSpeed Insights here, once you're back on PageSpeed Insights, I wanna draw your attention to the top left-hand corner here. As you can see, currently the scoring system displayed is for mobile. There is also a separate scoring system for your desktop. So if I just left click on desktop here, you can see my score is 100, but on mobile here, my score is 98. First, I'm going to go through the mobile score of PageSpeed Insights here. So let me take you through. So if I scroll down here, the first output is the field data and origin summary. As you can see, for the analysis from PageSpeed Insights, there isn't a lot of information in these two areas. On the right-hand side here, you can see what the mobile version of your web page looks like. And if we continue scrolling down, you can see we have the lab data here. Bullet pointed in green, which says first content paint, speed index, largest content paint, time to interactive, total blocking time and cumulative layout shift, all given in seconds and milliseconds. And if you wanna find out how these calculations are done, all you need to do is left click on C calculator here. Let's continue scrolling down here. Next, you can see opportunities. These suggestions can help your page load faster. They don't directly affect the performance score. So like it says, these are opportunities to improve your web page. However, they will not increase or decrease your performance score. So as you can see, I have two opportunities here, bullet pointed in orange, which says serve images in next gen formats and remove unused CSS. And on the right hand side here, it's estimated savings. So you'll save 0.45 of a second and 0.3 of a second. And if you left click on these arrows here, PageSpeed Insights tells you exactly what you need to do. So the first opportunity is to serve images in next gen formats and the estimated savings is 0.45 of a second. So as you can see, the current formats of my images is PNG and PageSpeed Insights advises to save in JPEG 2000 JPEG XR and WebP. The next opportunity is to remove unused CSS. So if I left click here, you can see that it saves 0.3 of a second here, and this is the CSS that needs to be removed to save that amount of time. Next is diagnostics. So for diagnostics, it says more information about the performance of your application. These numbers don't directly affect the performance score. So again, similar to opportunities, they don't actually affect the performance score. So as you can see, PageSpeed Insights has four diagnoses for me. The first one being avoid chaining critical requests, keep request counts low and transfer sizes small, largest contentful paint element, avoid long main thread tasks. And again, if you left click on each of the arrows here, you'll be able to get more information. Lastly, is past audits here, which tells you everything you did correctly. And at the very bottom here, it says, the speed score is based on the lab data analyzed by Lighthouse. You then have your analysis time with the date and time and the version of Lighthouse. So at the recording of this video, it's 6.3.0. And at the very bottom here, you've got what's new, web performance, 
about page insights and you can give feedback if you want. Let's scroll back up to the very top here and then quickly go through the performance score of the desktop version of my web page. So just simply left click on desktop to do so. You'll then again be greeted with your performance score. On the bottom right hand corner here, you can see a small version of the desktop version of your web page. To the left, you've got field data and origin summary. Again, you've got lab data, which might be slightly different to the lab data found in the mobile performance score. So definitely give adequate time to review the page speed insight score individually for the mobile version of your web page and the desktop version of your web page. So I'm going to continue scrolling down here. Again, you've got opportunities. So we have one opportunity here this time for the desktop version. It says eliminate render blocking resources and we'll save 0.22 of a second. Again, you've got your diagnostics here. This time it's only three and past audits and this time 30. And that's it guys for PageSpeed Insights. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.